everybody what is going on this is girl Keisha welcome to my show okay so we're gonna be speaking about snitch culture yes snitch culture you already heard the saying way back in the day snitches get what stitches okay so we're gonna be speaking about a Philly rapper by the name of Pop Hunter he became very popular with his song called Corvette Corvette and he did a remix with Lil Uzi Vert and it was really popular on TikTok now he's a really young, he's a young rapper just coming into the game and things was looking good, things were looking beautiful, things were looking bright, he looking he was going to flourish and just take off and soar into the music industry and be a big time star. But now his fame and his popularity is coming to an end due to paperwork released, leaked. <laughs> All of a sudden his, his paperwork leaked online about him working with law enforcement to bring down the person who murdered his friend when he was about 13 years old. So when he was 13 years old, his mother made him testify <coughs> to on behalf of his deceased friend. So little e Uzi Vert, who collaborated with Pop Hunter, had something to say and he said, this is what he said, he says, Little bro, you gotta take me off your EP. I can't respect what you did. So Pop Hunter come back, this is all in their DMs, and Pop Hunter come back and says, come on bro, come on big bro. Everybody's starting to hate me because I was being loyal. Key word, loyal, okay? I did what I had to do. I can't even get features from no other artists because of this. And Little Uzi Vert said, "Just I just can't respect what you did. And my thing is, Put yourself in Pop Hunter's situation in his shoes when he was young. I don't give a damn how old you are. Not everybody's about that street life. And the people who claim this street life and this gang gang stuff is not even about that gang gang stuff. You feel me? So my thing is what's going on? So you can witness a loved one of yours get murdered. You could witness a, a friend of yours get murdered and you gotta stand a hush hush so you protecting that person who violated and, and violated and murdered and hurt your friend. Wait, so, so I think things is backwards. Why is your loyalty to the streets versus your loyalty to the person who was riding with you, who truly loved you, truly cared for you? My loyalty to the person who loved me, who cares for me, and who's, who's riding for me, and who's gonna ride for me. You know what I'm saying? Through the good and through the bad. Why are y'all punishing this guy for doing what he felt he had to do when he was 13, when he was a little boy? I don't give a damn he was 33 years. I don't give a damn he was 100, year, 100 years damn old. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, not everybody is a street person. Not everybody is a street gangster. Not everybody's a gangster at all. So what is, so what is regular folks who don't live that street life is supposed to do? So someone could come up in here and rape your child. Oh, well, I can't snitch. I, I'm not going to snitch. I ain't going to say nothing. It's stupid. Someone could come and hurt and blow your, 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 your son's brain out. And you're going to just say, well, I ain't going to snitch. I can't say. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? And we keep living this coward lifestyle. These freaking um, monsters will just keep roaming the streets and keep thinking that they could do whatever they want to do because everybody's scared. When people going to stand up? You know what I'm saying? That's what law enforcement is for. And all these same gangsters and these dudes that be bout it, bout it, females too, when them feds come knock on the damn door, they don't be all on that gangster stuff, not a lot of them. Some of them be busting back at the police, some of them be cussing them out, some of them be, you know, be going down with a fight. But a, a lot of them don't, a lot of them do not do that. They, they, they tuck their head down, tail up on the tail between their legs, and they, 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 they go peacefully in handcuffs and they go about their business. Y'all don't keep the same energy when them real gangsters in blue pull, pull up. And that's a straight fact. I think this is ridiculous with this whole snitch culture. To me, snitches get stitches when your ass at the job. And you got plenty of people that snitches at the job. You know what I'm saying? I've had people try to do the same thing to me. They'll run back and tell the boss, oh, so-and-so this, so-and-so's doing that. Sometimes, and most of the time when it came up to me, it was all lies. Some people actually lie on you, but it's people who get caught sleeping on the job, not my ass, but it's people who get caught sleeping on the job. People would take pictures, snap, snap, 
Boss, look, 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 look what I got to show you. That's a damn snitch. And they should get their damn ass kicked. That's a damn snitch. Okay? Because that had a person sleeping on the job, even though it was wrong, that had nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with your person come back five, ten minutes late at the job. You're not relieving them. You're not their manager. You're not their superior. That has nothing to do with you. Mind your freaking business. Mind your business. But a lot of people know how to do that. Mind your freaking business. If you involved in the drug gang, you involved in gangster activity, gang activity, you down with it. You see what's going on. You see all the activities, um, <coughs> six, nine. <laughs> you see all the activities going on, but yet when your ass get caught up, you want to start dropping names. You want to start dropping names. Now that's a snitch. Because you was down with all that nonsense that was going on. You was involved in that. You seen what was going on. That's a difference. But if someone, a regular good citizen, is, you know, just living their life right, working, going to school, taking care of their business, building a business, doing what they have to do, and they see something, and if, and if it's connected to them, why not cooperate? You know what I'm saying? We're not, so what I'm supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Run up to these, to these, to, what, were you supposed to run up to these gangsters and expect them to protect you? No. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't look out for you. So what do you expect people to do? It don't make no sense. I think that they, they they take the snitching thing just way too just out of this way out of wax. It doesn't make any type of sense to me. You know, I don't think this guy should be blackballed from the industry because you have a lot of people who who spoke to the feds, work with the feds, and that's how they got their time off. You know what I'm saying? Ti was um, labeled as a damn snitch. I don't see no one blackballing his ass. Okay. You have a lot of artists that that work with the work with the feds, work with law enforcement, and their ass got off scot free, and ain't nobody blackballed. And people pick and choose who the hell they want to pick on. People pick and choose who the hell they they they, they want to be gangster with and who they want to bang on. No, keep the same energy for every single person. That's the real G to me. You keep the same energy with, for, with everybody. No one gets a pass. I don't care how big and how small. Period. There's another brother that was murdered out in Philly as well. And he was really, he was young. He was real young. He witnessed his friend get murdered in front of him. Then he witnessed his own brother get murdered. So on both occasions, he worked with the, with the police. Now what he's supposed to do? Now this guy wasn't a gangster. He wasn't a gang banger. He wasn't dealing with any of that. But he felt it was the right thing to do to protect his friend and his brother and give them justice and give them loyalty. Why should we have someone that hurt our loved ones? Not even just hurt, take our loved ones life away from us. Why should we protect these evil people? Why? They're not, they don't care to protect us. So why are we, why do people feel we gotta we got protect these wicked ass people? That's sick to me. I don't think that Pop Hunter should be blackballed from no damn music industry. Let that brother come on in and make his music. Let him come on like everybody else and make a damn music. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj um, did a song with a dog on or with, a, with a snitch and y'all didn't blackball her. Even Tusi, a rapper named Tusi, he has something to say. Another rapper, Trouble from Atlanta, he has something to say. And he was like, he said he don't he he don't agree. A trouble said he don't agree with what Pop Hunter did, but he felt but he feels like listen, y'all be picking and choosing who y'all want to who y'all want to get gangster on, or who y'all want to blackball, or who y'all want to turn y'all back on. No, he said and he said don't make this guy go kill himself because this guy look like he really wants to make it in the industry. You know what I'm saying? It takes hard work to finally to finally blow up and to finally let people recognize your work. To have all that go away over over something he did years ago. Okay, check out what Tusi had to say. I had a rap nigga text me and say, you know you did a song with a snitch, right? You know? All right, cool. That's whatever it is what it is, okay? Song already done, right? Why the fuck do you niggas be so worried about other people's business? Like, I ain't, that's the most bitch trait to me that a nigga could have, like, just to be in other people's business. That's some bitch-ass shit to me, like, real talk. Then a nigga gonna text me and say, 
my fault. You just such a street nigga. I thought that you like gang, like real tough. We don't even know each other. Like for all you know, gang, I could be a snitch too. You feel what I'm saying? Like you niggas be living up to these fake ass personas and fake ass gimmicks. Y'all be around snitches and bitch ass niggas every day and y'all never know. And leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this whole entire situation. Do you think Popcorn deserved to be blackballed? Do you agree with the whole snitch culture thing? Like people could do whatever they want to you and your loved ones and you supposed to sit back and well I, I ain't no snitch. I ain't no snitch. Trying to get justice for your loved one is not snitching. That's loyalty. That's compassion. That's love. Period. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. All right. Peace.